Having side projects can be beneficial to you. You can learn new concepts and apply to your work or you can add them to your resume and portfolio too. And the best feeling is a completed side project. Well, today I'm going to share with you four ways to finish your Flutter side projects. The first one would be creating one feature, doing it weekly, publishing it, and traction or die. So let's get started with the first point, which is to create a feature or a single feature. So you have come up with an app idea and you have several features that you want to work with. Let's say a quiz app. So what if you have one day to finish the quiz app? Which feature do you think would you start first? One day. Well, you are right. The quiz itself, not the authentication, the settings, or even the leaderboard. Therefore, cutting down your Flutter project to one feature will help you finish your side project. Remember the objective of a side project is to finish it, not making amazing yet. So the second point is to have some weekly commitment. What do I mean by that is that if you have one feature that you want to make, it might take some time. Therefore, the most important thing is progress. So 1% of improvement is better than none at all. Find a time where you are motivated, free of distraction, and you are probably awake, not really after work. So I have done weekly live streams where I push out an app, code it out, and even designing it. So I do this every week so that I can see some progress along the way. The third point is to publish it. So once you have finished your first version of your app, publish it. It does not matter if it's 100% perfect. This is because your first version is not the final version. So you will probably need to have some feedback from your users and you will definitely change your app. But the thing is, what if we have no users? And the fourth and last point is traction or die. So what makes people motivated in anything is basically success. So what makes an app successfully? Personally, users. Therefore, if your app does not have users, then you might have to ask a few questions. Would you maintain this app without users? Generally, people will not want to work on something that does not bring in users or later on money. Therefore, I personally would think that once you have published it and if there's no traction, then I will kill the app and move on to the next idea. However, on the bright side, you have learned something new while creating the app. However, there is one thing that I missed out, which are side project truth. So personally, I feel that not everyone should work on a side project. Let me say it for you. you don't have to work on a side project. You don't have to code every hour of the day and you don't always need a side project. You can go home at times where you can just binge on American Horror Story Season 8 in one day. Have I done that? Yes. You can progress your career in tech without any side projects. You might disagree and you're entitled to your own opinion. So side projects are not a must. Do side projects if you want to. If you don't want to, then it's fine. In summary, in order for you to finish your Flutter side project, there are four things that you need to do. So the first one is to just create one feature that is simple enough that you can publish it into the app or the Play Store. Secondly, is to make a commitment because a side project is not a one thing thing, one, one time thing. It is a journey of progression and improvements. So have a weekly commitment and I personally just do one hour a week and if you really want the accountability, do a live stream. The third one is that once you have finished that one feature app, publish it as fast as possible because the first version is not the final version. And then lastly, if you have traction for the app, then you can continue with the side projects. What do I mean by traction? Basically, people downloading it, having positive feedbacks, or even 
being popular and have some negative feedbacks because that means people are interested and invested in your Flutter project, whether it is an app or web app or a desktop app. But if you don't have any users, then I would recommend it to kill it because I personally feel that there are tons of ideas that you probably have. But if you disagree, then go ahead and really push that app that you really want to a lot of users or a lot of impact. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of these kind of videos, subscribe down below and comment down if you are doing a side project yourself. So stay safe and all the best. Bye-bye.